Good afternoon. My name is Lindsay Philbrick, and I'm a senior marketing director for New Opportunity to be here today to share details on the Omnipod 5 automated insulin delivery system, which is currently under review by the FDA as the first tubeless AID system. Today, you will learn more about the Omnipod 5 system and how it works, including a demonstration of the Omnipod 5 app interface. I'll do my best to answer your questions after the presentation, but please consider that there's a lot that we're not able to comment on ahead of FDA clearance. The Omnipod 5 system will be integrated first with the Dexcom G6 CGM, and as mentioned, is currently under FDA review for use in adults and children aged 6 and older living with type 1 diabetes. Omnipod 5 is designed with many features to help simplify how people will manage their glucose. Over the past several years of clinical and product development, our team has worked hard to deliver on the benefits of automated insulin delivery while removing complexity, making it as easy as possible for people to use. There are several things that set Omnipod 5 apart from other options. The tubeless and waterproof pod is now enhanced with smart adjust technology, which is the control algorithm to automatically adjust insulin to the user's customized target glucose. When you need to send a command to the pod or view data, it can all be done through the Omnipod 5 app, which will be made available on compatible personal smartphone or with a controller provided at no charge with the first prescription. The Omnipod 5 system is capable of both automated and manual mode with or without a CGM. In automated mode though, it, it, it includes two novel features, including a smart bolus calculator that uses both the CGM value and trend into the suggested bolus dose and an activity feature for times of decreased insulin needs such as exercise, both of which I will demonstrate as part of the Omnipod 5 app presentation. And finally, we want everyone who is eligible to have access to Omnipod 5 and as the only pump that can be obtained through the pharmacy and comes with no contract, commitment, or obligation, Access to Omnipod 5 will be made possible regardless of existing contracts. I'd like to go a little deeper into the Omnipod 5 system components. Automated mode with Omnipod 5 requires three components, the Dexcom G6 CGM, the Omnipod 5 pod, and the Omnipod 5 app. All of these components communicate through Bluetooth technology. The Dexcom communicates directly to the pod. The pod and the Omnipod 5 app communicate with each other. The Omnipod 5 pod is enhanced, as I mentioned, with smart adjust technology, which receives the CGM values from the Dexcom every five minutes and continuously adjusts insulin delivery to get the user closer to their glucose target. Automated insulin delivery is possible when the Dexcom G6 CGM and pod are on body and communicating. The Omnipod 5 app is not required to be nearby for automated mode, but rather used to view data and notifications, send insulin delivery commands, or activate and deactivate pods. In addition, a new to Omnipod will be a SIM card that we will actually put into the controller free for the user that will automatically allow for data transmission to the cloud in real time. So you can imagine the capabilities and data sharing amongst devices and apps this will allow us to do. The Dexcom G6 CGM will be sold separately and the Omnipod 5 will only com be compatible with the G6 app on a smartphone and not compatible with the G6 receiver. Let's talk a little bit more about Smart Adjust technology. We like to think that the Smart Adjust technology predicts, delivers, and adjusts. It predicts glucose 60 minutes into the future using current and historic data, delivers a new insulin dose every five minutes to a glucose target that the user sets, which can be between 110 and 150 milligrams per deciliter in increments of 10 milliliters per deciliter. The user also has the ability to set up to eight glucose target profiles by time of day. 
Not only is the system adjusting insulin delivery to a customized glucose target, but it's also learning and adapting to the user's real insulin needs with every pod change. Let's spend a little bit of time highlighting the clinical outcomes Omnipod 5 demonstrated as part of the pivotal study. The objective of the study was to evaluate the safety and efficacy of the Omnipod 5 system in adults and children with type 1 diabetes aged 6 to 70 with user-selected target glucose ranging from 110 to 150 milligrams per deciliter. There were 241 participants enro enrolled across the U.S. It was a single-arm, multi-centered study consisting of a 14-day standard therapy phase, followed by a three-month AID phase with Omnipod 5. Participants were allowed unrestricted eating and exercise throughout the study, and a subset of participants conducted missed meal bolus and moderate intensive exercise challenges. As you can see from the slide, overall Omnipod 5 demonstrated improved A1C, increased time in range, and reduced hypoglycemia in adults while remaining low in children. One additional note that I wanted to point out and highlight is that the most commonly selected target glucose for the AID phase was 110 milligrams per deciliter. And this was chosen by both children, adolescents, and adults. And with this target, children achieved a time and range of 68.4% and 75.6% for the adults. So in conclusion, the Omnipod 5 AID system demonstrated significant and clinically important improvements in glycemic outcomes. The system allowed the majority of participants to achieve glycemic targets set by the ADA consensus guidelines and improvements in glycemia was not associated with a rise of hypoglycemia. So this is the conclusion of the PowerPoint slides. I do want to spend a little time demonstrating the Omnipod 5 app interface. Um, but again, I just want to conclude that we are extremely excited to bring Omnipod 5 to the diabetes community. I know it's been some time and many of you um, who use Omnipod have been waiting a long time for this. Um, we are under uh, review by the FDA. Um, and as soon as we receive clearance, we will absolutely communicate our plans and how everybody can get access to Omnipod 5. Um, so thank you for your time today. Really thrilled to be here, and hopefully I can answer as many questions as I can at the end of the demonstration. Thank you. This is the Omnipod 5 app. It provides full control of the Omnipod 5 system on a compatible smartphone, or on the controller provided free with the first Omnipod 5 prescription. When you first open the Omnipod 5 app, you are taken to the home screen where you will see all the essential information and can access common functions. You see the CGM value and trend arrow in the middle, current IOB, last bolus units and the time, as well as a CGM graph that will take you to historical insulin delivery and CGM readings. And at the bottom, you see the bolus button that opens the Smart Bolus Calculator. Starting from the upper left corner of the home screen, you can see the menu button, alerts and alarms notification, as well as the current system mode, which right now says automated. By swiping the dashboard tab view to the left or tapping on the tab above it, you see the insulin tab view that tells you that you are in automated mode. You will also see the last bolus CGM info and access to the Smart Bolus calculator below. Swiping again brings you to the pod info tab view that shows how much insulin is left in the pod and when the pod will expire. Let's walk through some of the common actions with the Omnipod 5 app. We'll start with bolusing for food. Tap the bolus button to open the Smart Bolus calculator. Enter the amount of carbs and then choose between entering blood glucose manually or tap use CGM. When you tap use CGM, the Smart Bolus Calculator will use both the CGM value and the trend in the bolus calculation. To bring your glucose close to target glucose, the system may give a little more or a little less based on the CGM trend. Tap confirm, tap start. Now the app is sending the information to the pod to begin the bolus delivery. 
Once the bolus is delivered, you will hear an audible confirmation and the last bolus will be updated on the home screen. For this demonstration, I will cancel the bolus. While in automated mode, there may be activities like exercise or a sleepover when you may want less insulin. To help with this, you turn on the activity feature. For this demo in the software build, it is actually still called HypoProtect. Tap on the menu, tap on HypoProtect. When this feature is started, the Smart Adjust technology reduces insulin delivery and sets the target glucose to 150 milligrams per deciliter for the duration you choose between one and 24 hours. Let's set the feature for two hours. So tap confirm and then activate. You'll see on the home screen that that insulin tab now shows protect. After the two hours is completed, the pod will automatically resume in automated mode without the user having to engage. You can cancel this feature at any time by tapping cancel. OmniPod 5 can also be used in manual mode with or without a CGM connected. Tap the menu button and then tap switch mode, which then will display the default basal program that you had initially set up and you switch. You'll notice that the menu now goes from purple to blue and you're showing that you are in manual mode at that top right corner. It still shows the CGM as the CGM is still communicating with the pod it's just not informing the insulin dose every five minutes. Now in automated mode, we're gonna switch back. The insulin delivery will be adjusted automatically to bring your glucose towards your target glucose value, which is customized by the user from 110 to 150 milligrams per deciliter in increments of 10 milligrams. And you can actually set up to eight different profiles in the day. There may be a time when you want to change your target glucose. So you tap the menu button, tap settings, bolus, tap target glucose, tap on the segment that you wish to adjust, which I only have one segment here, and then we will actually change that to 110. And then we save it. And now I can adjust my target glucose from 110 to 120. This is the Omnipod 5 app designed to simplify life with diabetes. Thank you.